hate speech that rape jokes are. Let's demand an end to the system that treats our bodies as commodities, tolerates our assault and does not take us seriously when we report it. We are here tonight to raise our voices and declare on behalf of those women whose voices cannot be heard over their prison fences that the incarceration of women is a form of violence. That the policy of mandatory detention is a form of violence and an abhorrent form of violence it's at that. Fair, clear, abortion, all be free and fair. Take a stand, take back the night. We do not have to acquiesce to someone else's sexual desires if we do not want to. There is no shame in saying no and asserting your right to a healthy, respectful and equal sexual relationship. A woman's body is not something that exists as purely sexual. We are not objects or pieces to be chopped up and sexualized as big bootied or a great rack. A body houses a human being, a living person with thoughts and actions and feelings, someone who is capable of deciding how they want to participate in a sexual encounter. We need more refuges, we need more shelter, we need more places where women can escape the violence, reclaim their lives and walk tall in our community. The Barnett Government's sex work bill is not only draconian in nature, it will have adverse and harmful consequences to the health and safety of sex workers, sex worker clients and the general community. The West Australian Government needs to move out of the dark ages, recognise full decriminalisation of all adult sex workers' best practice for the health and safety outcomes of sex workers. teaches men to proceed after she says no. It teaches men that a lack of physical resistance is an invitation. And it teaches men to claim ownership over whichever female body they desire. Rape culture also teaches women that their bodies are not their own, that they exist purely for men's pleasure. It teaches women that they should not desire sex and that saying yes makes them bad women. Active consent is something which should be spoken about more often than it actually is. In every sex education classroom, in every birds and bees with the parentals, in every movie scene where someone is getting down and dirty, consent should be a crucial and vital aspect. Instead, it is often overlooked, ignored or removed. We need to demand a strong understanding, explanation and focus on active consent. It is crucial that if you're going to engage in sex, you ensure you have consent first. As we saw with the tragedy of Jill Maher in, in Melbourne, um, it wasn't the CCTV that saved her, it was the CCTV that told us what happened, and that's not good enough. Instead, what we need is we need people on the streets. We need People make places safe. We need people living in Fremantle, we need people socialising and being in Fremantle in order to make our streets safe. Inside these fences are the mothers who have tried to birth their children handcuffed to beds like lowly criminals as circo guards stand at the door to their delivery room. These are the mothers who are forced to raise their children within the confines of a prison fence, in the presence of armed prison guards or in the presence of so many who have lost hope and who so often take a noose to their necks. Not a sight a child should ever have to see. Sisters, let's do more than reclaim the night. Let's take down the structures responsible for this climate of fear that we live in. Let's take down the structures responsible for the exploitation, humiliation and degradation that women experience every single day.